Hi, today we're going to learn how to create a route planner with Google Maps. What route planner is, it's basically the map with some uh, pins on it, indicating where we're going, the places we're going to be visiting, and a line going across uh, through these pins, uh, obviously showing the, uh, the routes we're going to be taking. So, to start with, obviously, you're going to have to have a Google account. So, if you haven't got yet, go and register with Google. Then you can log in and access Maps uh, tab at the top. Uh, once you're here, click on a My Places uh, button and create new map. We're going to create, uh, give it a title of My Route. We don't need any description, really. If we save it. As you can see, now we have three options available here. Hand, which obviously allows you to move around the map. Then pin, which allows you to place the pin on the map. And then lines, which allow you to basically draw a, sing draw a straight line, draw a line along the roads, and draw a shape. We're going to start with the pin. So we're going to start, let's say, from London. Give it a uh, some title. Let's say London, our starting point. Click OK. Now, if we move a little bit further west, let's go to Reading. Another one. Ding. Our first stop. Click on OK. Then let's create another one somewhere in Bath, let's say. Bath, just Bath, without any extra um, description. Uh, now, if we go to, let's say, Exeter, Exeter, OK, then if we go to, let's say, Send Ives to finish our route, and click on OK. Now that we have all these pins on the map, if I zoom out a little bit, we can start creating the, uh, the line, basically, to connect this uh, hotspots. So if we choose the draw a line along the roads, we start with the London, so we click close to the uh, to our first pin, then go to the next one, the next one, then we go to Exeter, we can also, uh, sorry, we can also click and drag, once again Exeter, to indicate we want to go here, and then Saint Eves to finish. Once you finish, click on the ending point again to obviously uh, finished uh, drawing the line. Now we can give it a name. Let's just uh, give it a root and click OK. And this is our map, obviously ready. This is one of the ways of doing things. So if we save it and done it, let's create another map. We go to my places, create another map, uh, my route two, and let's save it. And now what we're going to be doing, we do this thing slightly differently. We we create the uh, uh, pins exactly the same way as we did before, so I'm just going to go quickly London Then I'm going to go to Bath straight away Now Exeter And lastly St. Ives, St. Ives, yeah Okay, we click OK, that's all done now I'm going to simply use the same tool, draw a long, long uh, line along roads. I'm going to start with London, so I click here, and now I'm just going to move down to St. Ives straight away. Now, what I can do, obviously I need to finish this, so click again, and let's call it route. Okay, now what I can do is just go along this specific line and move it to where I want it to go, basically. Uh, then if I want this to go to, let's say, through a Taunton, I can put it here. This is going through Bristol. Let's go to Bridgewater or this way. So you can basically rearrange the way the route is going. So we can go here through Oxford as well if we want to, and so on. So this is our route with the pins. Now, how can we remove some of these things? Let's save it. You can see we've got here the legend for this specific map. So if I select the route, I can now click on delete here to remove this route. So let's remove it. And as we can see, our uh, line is now removed. Now, if I want to remove one of the positions, let's say Bath, let's hit on delete. And again, the point is um, obviously removed. So that's how you do 
uh, the maps. Now, how can you export it? If we save this specific one and we go to the previous one, my places, you can see both of them are listed here. We go into the first one, my route. And if you want to embed it on your page or link, give someone the link to this uh, specific map, a link is here. So if we copy this link and open a new tab, and I can now obviously need to show the navigation toolbar. Now, if I paste this specific link, you can see it takes us to this map with the outline of our route as well. If we obviously want to embed it on the page, if we click on this one again, uh, we obviously can uh, use this uh, iframe here in order to paste it on our website. 